again? <laughs> Thank you kindly. Business with me. The way you're under is all blocked up, you see, by this god awful statue. Heavens above. Who thought it a good idea to pit it there? Oof. I'm in quite the pickle now. See that statue? Gives me the willies. You stare at it for long enough, it starts to look alive. Ach, it just doesn't seem quite right. There are no craftsmen round these parts. Hey, you don't think a real-life person was turned to stone, do you? See that statue? Gives me the willies. You stare at it for long enough, it starts to look alive. Ach, it just doesn't seem quite right. There are no craftsmen round these parts. Hey, you don't think a real-life person was turned to stone, do you? See that statue? Ah, hey. Hey. My name is Rosabeth. Thank you so much for rescuing me. Oh. oh, you're that traveler. I still haven't thanked you. Well, I'm quite a hand at pyromancy. So perhaps you could consider this my thanks. 
I was attacked and turned to stone, I think. I owe you my life. If you had not come... Oh, I feel shameful, wearing these rags. Um, I hate to burden you further, as you've already saved my life. But, just look at me. My clothes are in tatters. Do you have any clothing that you could spare? I'll take anything, whatever you don't need. I'm not particular when it comes to apparel. Anything at all will do. Just put it on the ground, and I'll change into it later. Thank you so much. I'm very happy for this gift. After I change into this, I'm heading for Matula. Hmm, I'm not sure where I might find the Lord. But perhaps Majula is my best chance. I remember you. Don't you scare me like that. I thought you were him. That bastard with a ring lives in Brightstone Cove down the way. I'm gonna find him and settle the school. Nobody insults me like that. 
for the good of the world and for my own honour. I won't let that bastard live another day. <laughs> For the good of the world. Leave me be. I like it quiet. Leave me be. business have you here, traveller? You may call me Vengal, if I deserve a name in this sorry state. It is rare to flap these gums. This is pleasant. Long ago, I was hired to defend the kingdom. I remember a long, brutal fight, and then somebody killed me. Or so I thought. I came to and found myself like this. I don't know what explains it, but it's not so bad, really. And now I watch the days go by and gaze at the night sky, thinking of the finer things, far removed from war. I've grown weary of battle, but did not realize it until now. I know not what brings you on this journey, nor will I deign to ask. You may bear a great burden, don't we all? I prefer to stay my distance. But I want to warn you of something. My body. I see visions. My body, headless, raging without me. My body, wielding my sword, a sword forged only to kill. My body will show no mercy. If you see the wretched thing, stay far away. I learn new things every day. Things never learned in battle. And, thanks to you, I've recalled the joy of conversation. If I can help you, if you require something, do speak up. I cannot lie. Sometimes I wonder what's become of the kingdom. I was a hired hand, yes, but we soldiers stared death in the eye together. And for his highness, I am afraid. But perhaps it's for the best. We knew not what we fought for. I was born in Ferosa, to land in the distant east. When I was born, we were already mired in prolonged conflict with our neighbours. Eventually, our kingdom fell, and our people scattered. I've been a sellsword ever since. All I ever knew was war, and I can imagine no other way to live. What a fool I was. I am grateful for these peaceful days. But such contentment lies there here and now, now. Why must life be so confounding? Thank you for lending an ear to my ramblings. Here, take these. I have no use for them. Go along and resume your journey. Farewell. I will retire to my silence.
human, are we? This is no place for you. Be gone. Are you not afraid of me? Humans rarely come here. Those who do, turn back when they see me. Or make an attempt on my life. But you... are different. We once had a master. He created us long, long ago. But he was born with a fatal flaw. He resented those who had what he lacked and became fully mired in hatred. Eventually, he drove himself mad. It was at the peak of this madness that he conjured up we strange creatures. Our master was a tragically lonely soul. Eventually, his solitude eroded his very reason. In the end, he never understood what it was that he truly lacked. Nobody knows when we were born or where our master has gone. The only ones who even speak a human tongue are myself and my better half. I wish to ask a favor of you. I want you to kill my betrothed. Once, I always found her at my side. But as time went on, things went awry. She became violent, raging uncontrollably. Eventually, she came after me. We have been locked in combat ever since. We seem to be at a standstill. The wounds we exchange are never lethal. I was born of my master's madness. Perhaps this is some curse. I will be sure to assist you in return. The past is a distant fog. My name was Targ. That is all that I remember. The past is a distant f My name was Targ. That is all that I remember.